What's up guys, Jordan Kaplan here from Kaplan Chiropractic Center. Welcome back. Today is 90 Seconds to Wellness. We're gonna talk about the Dumbbell Snatch post 17.1 recap. I have Sadie Kaplan here, my wife and overall badass, who's gonna to talk to us about what we did, what we did wrong, what kind of happened to you and why our office was so busy uh, Monday morning after 17.1. The movement in 17.1 was burpee box jumps. We're not gonna talk about that today. But secondarily, you had to do a dumbbell snatch. I'm not a CrossFit coach, I'm not an Olympic lifting coach. We're not so concerned today with talking about the technique of a snatch. In fact, we're not even overly concerned about what she's doing with her upper extremity. We just wanna watch her low back. Uh, what happened with people was, because there was such high load, people were losing their form over time and creating a lot of issues with their low back. So our office is flooded on Monday morning with a bunch of sore low backs. We're gonna talk about how to avoid that for the next one maybe next year an 18.1 recap. So today's gonna show us a dumbbell snatch really quickly. She goes to the bottom, her back is relatively flat, her core is engaged. When she comes up, she's gonna fire her hips and pull up over her head, drop it back down. She's gonna switch and try it with the other hand, come back, fire, back up, good, down. What you have to understand is if you lift it up, the first motion, come up for bring it up this way. The first motion is gonna be all hips generating power. As she comes to the top, she's gonna to pop her hips and it's gonna create a momentum where the weight is gonna come up. As people get tired, they start to lose the ability to use their hips and they're rounding their back and they're just pulling with their upper back and their arms. You can see your hips aren't coming forward. Your power comes from your hips. This is where you're gonna drain all of your power and this is where you're gonna do the movement appropriately. So face this way for me, show people a good snatch, comfortable flat back, good. Now drop it down, show somebody a terrible rounded back, Good, come back up. Over time, this happens when you lose your form and you get fatigued. So do me a favor, next time, watch your back, keep a flat back, or you'll end up in our office on Monday. And that's a good thing for us, but it's not a good thing for you. Have a wonderful week. We'll see you soon. Have a good one.